All right, all right. This next guy coming up to the stage needs no introduction. Danny. I hope he's the reason why you're all here. Put your hands together, everybody. For Pat Carlin, everybody. stuff here, I'm not going to read it, but it's about news, you know, and you guys were mentioning different things, and talking about that oil spill got me thinking, you know, because that's a big bullshit trip, and they wanted to fix it up, and the one guy wanted to actually nuke the son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, man, and I thought to myself, that don't sound like a really good idea, and sure enough, T. Boone Pickens, an oil dude, came out and he agreed with me. He said, don't nuke that thing. The worst thing you can ever do is nuke that. So I thought, oh, every time a smart guy or a guy who knows his shit agrees with my feelings, I'm okay. Now think this guy, Steve Hawkins, all right? Mr. Galaxy. He knows all that shit up there. And he said, putting that thing on the rocket of the picture of what we are and how good we look to eat and how to find this planet for any of you hungry motherfuckers out there who like meat. He thought that was a bad idea too. But once again, he agreed with me. Some of these things are just plain dumb. You look at it this way. If you're the kind of guy who wants to nuke that oil tripper, then you're the same kind of guy who if you look at the guy's arm, you say, gee, Ned, a lot of blood coming out of that cut on your arm, isn't it? Yeah. Well, maybe if we wedge a cherry bomb in there and blow that motherfucker up, you feel better, huh? All right, so I avoid those guys. Those are the guys who want to say, you know, Patrick, let's get out of the gunpowder shed and take a smoke. You don't need guys like that. You leave them alone. <laughs> so look at it, soccer, because it's sports time. And a lot of Americans are real snobbish motherfuckers. They say, oh, I don't like soccer, nothing's happening, shit like that. Let me tell you something. A lot is happening in the soccer game. A lot of goddamn bad acting. Guys falling down and grabbing their fucking knees. Acting like they need a goddamn wheelchair. That's bullshit. And then the minute the guy don't lay a yell on the guy who did it, oh, they get well and they jump away again. That's bullshit. Let me tell you something. They need to play the rules that we used to play at boarding school. When I went to boarding school, I was just a little tiny dude. And I got kicked out of second grade for being an asshole. And the only way they would take you in boarding school was third grade, so they moved me up to that shit. And boarding school was funny because they had nothing to do with you from three o'clock till five o'clock in the afternoon when they had study period and they could beat the shit out of you if they moved around too much. So out on the field, they would throw this ball out and we would do our kind of soccer. Just about 20 kids on each team, lots of pushing, shoving, elbowing, and kicking. Lots of kicking, man. And I don't know about those other kids. Well, yes, I do. Most of them were 30 little bastards just like me. And we enjoyed kicking the guy back who had just kicked you. Who am I going to kick? Some, I'm coming for you, you son of a bitch. Oh, and one time I was so pissed off at the kid, man, the brother was looking right at me because when you would do a thing like kicking a kid on purpose, you would get 10 on each hand on Friday. And plus, you know, you would get a detention thing like that. So I knew it was coming, and I didn't give a shit anyway. <laughs> so that's your attitude. That's what makes you do things like school. Now let me tell you, schooling takes me, we went from the sports, bullfighting, most chicken shit motherfuckers in the world. Bullfighting motherfuckers. Bullshit to bullfighting. They drop fucking cement bags on their shoulders to weaken them. They give them shit, they give them diarrhea, and they fuck them up completely. Then they stab the motherfuckers to death, and they don't even make burgers out of them. Fuck bullfighting. Not a fucking sport. Sometimes the bulls get lucky. I was lucky enough to work a job one time. I was working on the Thick of the Night show, and we had some pretty strange dudes cross our way. One of them had been a roadie from one of them English bands, you know, like Humble Pie or Ten Years After or something. But he was a roadie, and he was not an English guy who talked like the black dudes from the colonies, you know. Yes, sir, we'll get you right over here, sir. 
He was one of these guys who say, oh, she was a great bloody cow, that one was. <laughs> he would talk like that, fucking Alistair. And the story that Alistair told me, and it was fucking beautiful, man, is he had a whole bunch of speed left over. This English band was getting all around, and the members were all ingesting a hell of a lot of methamphetamine. And he was given the task of getting rid of this bullshit before they left Spain and went to France. So what did he do with his methamphetamine liquid? He poured it into the fucking water troughs that the bulls drink down. Can you imagine what an afternoon that was? Bulls, six, matadors, zero. And uh, I like to cover sports because I'm a fucking sport. Uh, we're falling off the stage here. That's all right. It's happened before. Uh, who else we got? LeBron, soccer, bullshit. Oh, oh yeah. These bullshit bastards acting like that. At least when we were little kids and you got kicked in the shins, you sucked it up. Fuck it, man. What's a little blood? And I'm going to tell you something. Now we got people saying things like, he's a wuss. He's a wuss. I said, what is this wuss thing? Oh, well, that's, that's short for him. He's a wussy. I said, you mean he's a fucking pussy? In the old days, give me 17, Dolan, you fucking pussy. I said, 17 push-ups, not 13. What are you, a fucking pussy? No, now it's become a wuss. Well, I'm going to tell you something about a wussy. I never ate a fucking wussy. I hope I never do. and these wussies and shit, you got a wonderful old Irish word called a molly coddle, okay? A fucking molly coddle. And that's a kid that, oh, daddy, I hurt my fucking knee. Get the fuck out of here, you little prick. Get up and run. You know what I mean? So I see a kid one day, he hurts his knee, and the family was around. Uncle John was there. He was the best of the bunch. He was the only one who could punch the shit out of my father. Uncle John, thank you, man. Uncle John sees my brother get a little cut or something like that. My mother's going to run for a band aid and he says, What are you trying to do, Mary? Make a molly coddle out of the boy. Leave him alone. Put a little dirt in that thing, it'll heal up. And that's what it's about. If it's not a sucking chest wound, if it's not a break where the bone is sticking out two inches through the fucking arm, it ain't worth going to the clinic for. You'll turn the boy into a molly coddle. <laughs> we don't want that. Oh, education. So after the molly coddles and the pussies comes the education. You get your education, and now you say, hey, I'm out of high school. It's time to go to college, goddammit. All right, well, I need to go for four years. That's about 40 fucking grand or 50 grand. <laughs> Where the hell is that coming from? I don't know. Is he going to debt to go to college? Let me tell you something. They got academicians. I can look at the net here, but I don't want to find it. It's too hard to find. There's an actual clipping from real people, and they're saying that four years of college is not necessary. And I said, well, that's another one of the ones that I knew, just like I knew it was bad news to send a fucking takeout menu up on that rocket to hungry aliens, right? <laughs> you know some of this shit right away. So I said, okay, here we are going down this trail again, and we're wondering why we're doing these things. Education. Look it. For four years, they're going to pay that money in, and what's he going to learn? How to drink, how to vomit, how to puke on his shoes, how to fight, and how to ask a girl, show me your tits. And then maybe if he takes a postgraduate course, he can take her brassiere off with one hand while kind of kissing her. Let me tell you, you don't need four years for that shit, folks. Two years of a good community college can teach you to get drunk, puke, fight, and grab a girl by the tits. And you got 23 grand left over, because you only went for two years. Take that 23 grand, buy a whole lot of good reefer and beer, and you'll find a good job somewhere. You don't need to do that.